Hey guys and girls, so today we're going to be putting on a Rain-X uh, windshield treatment onto the wife's car. Now the reason why uh, I'm doing this right now in the middle of the summer is uh, we just had the windshield replaced. We had a drunk driver cut us off, um, heading in the opposite direction, in the shoulder right beside my wife, and kicked up a stone and put in a, a chip about the size of a baseball. So anyways, we got a nice clean windshield. I've gone ahead and I've actually cleaned it up with the invisible glass. I prefer invisible glass. Uh, doesn't leave any residue. It's safe for window tint. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not being paid by them. I'm not being paid by Rain-X either. Um, so anyways, Rain-X treatment, very simple. All you do is you add it to the cloth, rub it in circular motions, make sure you overlap, you let it dry, you buff it off. I particularly like it uh, in the winter time because it saves on uh, windshield washer fluid. A lot of the uh, road grime and uh, um, you know the beet juice and the salt and all that crap that gets kicked up, the slush. Basically, all you gotta do is just put the wipers on. Most of it comes off and uh, really saves on the use of uh, the windshield washer fluid, which is particularly good for me. I've got to drive 60 kilometers to work each day. Um, you can use a lot of fluid in those times. So anyways, we're going to start adding this in and uh, hope you guys enjoy. So I just work in small areas. You don't add too much to the rag. Make sure that you overlap. I tried not to do this in uh, direct sunlight. Whether it makes a difference or not, I don't know. I'm just making sure that I've got everything covered. I'm just kind of looking at it in the sunlight. Of course, there's bugs all over the place. This side's actually a little easier the way the sun's reflecting. I can see exactly where I've been. So now that we're all completed, you can see that there's a, just a slight haze on this thing. So all you do, you can take a clean rag, or if you've got a clean spot on the rag that you were using, you can use that as well. I think we're actually just going to switch up the rags just in case. Nice clean unused rag.
sometimes when it streaks, it can be a little difficult to remove. So you just have to work at it. Like right through here. A little bit of elbow grease goes a long way. Any of the residual will come off. I'm sure if you had a, like a car polisher or some kind of buffer that it would actually work as well. Like I said, even if you do have some residue that's built up in some spots, this stuff does not last forever. And that built up residue is actually higher than everything else. And it will come off probably within the first rainfall. I think for the most part, we've gotten Gotten it all licked. Just kind of looking at it in the sunlight right now. And this is one of those products that a little really goes a long way. I've done with that bottle probably, I'd say at least half a dozen applications and I don't even think I'm halfway through the bottle yet. Again, I'm not affiliated with Rain-X, but rain -X, if you're listening, I'm all ears. I have not used any other products other than rain -X, so I'm not sure what their capabilities are. Just double check this side again. Sometimes it helps to view it from different angles. Like I said, a little goes a long way. You overlap it too much and you get too much buildup. It is not easy to rub off. So basically what the Rain X is doing is it's working on kind of like a microscopic level and it's filling in all the pores of that windshield, believe it or not. And that, boys and girls, is how you add Rain X to a windshield. So again, if you like my videos, thumbs up. Don't like the video, thumbs down. Comments are always appreciated. Constructive ones anyways. Until the next time, take her easy.